Welcome to the fourth screencast in the series, Setting Up Products, Price Books, and Opportunities. In this screencast, we're going to learn how to load Opportunity Line Items using the Data Loader. This is the fastest method to load Opportunity Line Items. First step is to set up the Opportunities Line Item Insert File. The best option is to export the Opportunity Product Object from Data Loader to use as a template. Open Login to Data Loader and click on Export. Click Show All Salesforce Objects and select the Opportunity Product Object. Select a location to save the file and click Next. Select the following fields Opportunity ID. Price Book Entry ID, Total Price, Quantity, and any other fields as needed. Click Finish and Yes. Now we have the correct column headers that we'll need in our insert file. Next is to obtain the IDs for the opportunities you would like to use via the Report or UI Browser link. The ID in the Browser link is 15 characters long and starts with 006. Otherwise, export the specific opportunity IDs from Data Loader if you have many. Now we need the IDs for the Pricebook Entry object, which is only available in Data Loader. Make sure you click on Show All Objects to see the Pricebook Entry object and select the ID and Name fields. The ID starts with 01U and is 18 characters long in Data Loader. Enter the opportunity and corresponding Pricebook Entry IDs in the corresponding columns in the Opportunities Line Item CSV you created earlier. Make sure the opportunities match with the correct price book entry you would like to associate. Add the other data into the relevant columns in the insert file and save the CSV. Open Login to Data Loader and click on Insert. Click on Show All Salesforce Objects and select the Opportunity Product Object. Select the Opportunities Line Item CSV Click Next and OK. Click on the Create or Edit a Map button and the Mapping dialog box will appear. Click Auto Match Fields to Columns. The column names should match up if entered correctly. If not, then drag the fields down to the column mapping. Click OK once done and click Next. Select a place where to save the success and error files which can be easily accessed. Click Finish and Yes to proceed. A dialog box will appear with the number of successes and errors. If there's an error, then recheck your file to make sure the IDs are entered correctly. Now let me check if the product is associated to the opportunity in the org. I'll log into the org, click on the Opportunity tab, and select the Opportunity ID I selected to use in my insert file. Go to the Products Related list on the right, and notice there is a line item for a product. Click on it, and this is the record we just created. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com, or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.